Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's me, Soda and some Wii, and welcome back to another episode of Jade Empire, aka Soda. <laughs> Not that the game is known as Soda, but I'm known as Soda. And we're going to continue where we last left off, which was here outside, um, I guess, what was his name? Um, <laughs> wow, the, the Greater Sue or Gao? It was Gao, not Sue. I don't know where I got Sue from. So we're going to fight him, I think. And we're also, we also had a quest we had to do for the lady downstairs. So we're going to try and figure all that out now so that we can get our flyer and uh, pretty much get the heck out of here. Okay, there's nothing there, so I guess we have to go up here. I'm not sure what this does. Oh, it's a bridge. Oh, okay. I guess that was to prevent us from getting over to that side. Do a barrel roll. Uh-oh. Dire flame. Here we go. <laughs> Uh oh, don't hit me. Oh, did I just get hit? Hold on, hold on. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, I can't do anything. Oh no, I got hit. Wow, wow, I'm stuck behind a table. Die. Oh, you stupid asshole. No. Alright, I need to use the spirit thief. Give me that spirit. I need to heal. Oh no. Oh, I can't. I'm just trying to get as much chi as I can. Yes, yes, get more. Hit her, you asshole. There we go. Oh, and I forgot I, I leveled up in the last video. Let's go ahead and do that now. Alright, let's see. We really need to put some more into mind, I think. And last, I'll put some into body. That's good enough. Alright, now we got 11 style points that we can use here. I think lately... Hmm. Let's see. I can either put some into horse demon, or we can put some... You know what, I'm going to put some into legendary strike. Because I have a feeling we're going to be using this one a little bit. Maybe not too much, but... I should probably start using it, if I'm saying that. <laughs> Let's put some into Horse Demon. Alright, that should be good. Alright, uh, which way? Hopefully this isn't a trap. No trap. Alright, so I'm guessing up is where Gao is. So this must be where that girl is. There she is. Please don't burn me. I'll do anything you want. Don't burn me. I'm sure you will, child. But deep inside you think you're not a slave. Only true pain will wash away these thoughts. Okay. Now wait a minute. These slaves will be house servants. I will not have my guests served by a young woman with burns and marks on her face. You can have your slaves when they're broken. Not a moment before. This guy really likes to hurt people, doesn't he? You wandered into the wrong room, slave. I'm not a slave. How dumb of you to assume that. Alright, let me get this guy first. Legendary strike. Thousand cuts. 
Legendary strike. Come on, get closer to me, asshole. Oh, you ass. Thousand cuts. Legendary strike. Oh, I actually like this legendary strike move. It's got a little bit more range on it. You killed him. I've never seen such violence. Hey, I know you. Mother and I met you when we were trying to get out of Tien's Landing. Yes. Quiet, girl. A slave doesn't speak unless spoken to. Don't speak to her like that. What? Why not? A slave has to know her place. If I'm going to have to train these slaves myself, I should get a discount. I don't want to be a slave. I just want to get out of this place. The girl is not for sale. What? This is an outrage. Do you know how long I traveled to get here? Do you know how long I spent negotiating the purchase of these slaves? Get away from my daughter, you wretched man. You? What are you doing here? How did you get away from the guards? Why aren't you with the rest of the slaves? The guards are dead, Lun. The slaves are free, and more than a few of them are looking for you. You don't want them to find you. No, this can't be. I, I have to get out of here. Thank you, my lady. I have my daughter back, and we are free. If I had any type of reward to give you, it would be yours. We will return to Tian's Landing and tell the entire town of your great deeds. I'm sure Minister Sheng will reward you for helping us. Come, Fuyo. Let's go. The others are waiting for us. I'm glad you're safe, Mother. All right, not bad. Iron Palm the Forge. In gratitude for freeing her, Fuyao Fu Fuyo, has given the player an Iron Palm scroll. Find the remaining scrolls to learn the Iron Palm style. Alright, Iron Palm the Forge. One of three meditation doctrines required to understand the Iron Palm fighting style. This aspirant must possess, uh, aspirant must possess and study all three before he or she can safely attempt to train in this demanding art. The aspirant must embody the forge. The structure that focuses the fire and reveals the potential of the anvil. Self-control must balance the long, powerful strikes of Iron Palm, or its movements can overwhelm and leave a lesser aspirant prostrate before an enemy. Alright, so we're just one scroll away from learning the Iron Palm. The Guardian says we can feel it soaked into the walls. I don't like it here. <laughs> Probably because they had a bunch of slaves. Uh, there's nothing over there. All right, let's go upstairs. I'm sure we're going to have to fight Gao. Hopefully this isn't a trap. Oh, it's not even available to open. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to get ready to fight Gao here. Or maybe more of his henchmen. Did you see Gao when he went by? There was fire in his eyes. There's always fire in his eyes. Dark magic burns inside him. Yeah, but this time it was worse. Better stay out of his way for the next little while. Something really set him off. Wait a minute. You there! Who are you? You can't be up here. Uh, yes I can. I can be wherever I want to be. Alright, hold on. Because the guys with the swords, I honestly don't like fighting them. With the normal styles. You stupid asshole. Legendary strike. Death will be your release. Yes. Oh no. Dude, I really do like this new style that we learned. It's like super powerful. Oh, come on. Wait, wait, don't kill him, don't kill him just yet. Let me steal his chi. I feel like I just ended up stealing what I was going to need to heal anyway. Yeah, it didn't really work out in my favor. I don't really like fighting the guys with the swords. 
Uh oh, the workshop. This must be where the flyer is. Uh, lower island part, or lower island part, is that what it said? Okay, it's saving here, so something's about to happen in here. Spirit thief. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember that guy. And I wasn't even able to kill him normally. This is not going to be good. Okay, I really gotta, I really gotta think this through. Come on, come on, come on, kill him, kill him before he kills me. Come on, come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, yes! Ooh, missed me, missed me. Alright. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on. He's gonna kill us. Yes. Thousand cuts. Oh, I was so scared right there. I was very scared right there. Okay. Inferior Intimidation Gem. Configuration of the horse. I don't know what that is. Is that a... Can I read that or no? I guess that's where I got the configuration of the horse. Oh, no. Oh, what is that? This isn't fair. I'm gonna die here. I already know. Yep, I'm definitely gonna die here. Maybe not, maybe not. We might have... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch out for the big guy. The big guy is clearly not playing with us. Alright, we gotta watch out for this guy. He looks serious. Come on, come on. Oh, thank god I got him before he got me. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Ah, oh, dude. That was so bad. Alright, hold on. Are you gonna attack him, Wildflower? Yes! Okay. Wow. I thought I wasn't going to make it through that, but he wasn't as hard as I thought. He definitely was not like the Rhino. That Rhino was not playing. Jade Empire Beastry Volume 4. The Dangers of Demons. The average person is never likely to come across one of these horrific beings. Demons are some of the most dangerous and malevolent beings in all of Jade Empire. Though some demons are not evil, they are all-powerful, and rarely can they be trusted. If confronted by a malicious demon, it is important to remember that they are usually immune to magic, especially the larger demons. You can successfully combat them with weapons and simple martial arts styles. Strangely enough, on those rare occasions when demons and ghosts were seen to tangle the strange magics used by the ghosts seem to affect these malevolent beasts. What? Hold on. Those rare occasions when demons and ghosts were seen to tangle the strange magics used by the ghosts seem to affect these malevolent beasts. That last sentence, I don't know if it's just I can't read it right or if it's written wrong, but that didn't make any sense to me. Okay. Uh, let's see. What is this? Dragonfly controls? Oh, well, I guess this is what uh, what we're gonna end up using to get out of here. That was exciting. Or that. I wonder what's inside. The History of Flight, Volume Two. The first known successful flight was made by Mad Fong. Though he had studied to become a scholar, he was kicked out of the school for destroying one of their buildings. Based on the history books, it is difficult to determine if Fong was a genius or insane. 
Either way, his, technique, his techniques were original and in the end successful. Though his first several attempts were unsuccessful, he refused to give up, despite the cost and the obvious dangers to his own life. Fong preserved until, or persevered until he completed his first prototype flyer. The flyer didn't do much more than hop across the landscape, but it was a start. A year later, he was able to travel for nearly a mile before crashing and unfortunately dying in the process. Did he die? I thought Mad Fong was the guy downstairs. Or maybe that was somebody else. Okay, did we get everything in the room? Is this the way we're supposed to go, or is this somewhere else? The Guardian doesn't like what's happened. They've brought others from outside and made them fight. Ye oh, I don't want to go in there. Big elephant in there. What's down here? Or what's up here? Wait a minute, that's where Gao is. So I'm confused. Okay, let's just go in here. Hopefully we don't die. Please don't die. Oh man, that guy is scary. Please don't kill me, big man. This area is forbidden. Only Gao himself is allowed to enter. You must be destroyed. Great. Who are you? I am Xian Shi, the great elephant demon. Gao's infernal magic summoned me and bound me here to guard this room. Please don't kill me. The penalty for all who enter is death. Gao's power compels me. I must destroy you. Stop! Oh man, this guy looks powerful. I'm gonna let my my friend here try to take a couple hits at him first. How did that hit me? Oh yeah, dude, this guy's super powerful. Oh man, oh man, oh man, I am scared, I am so scared. Okay, I don't even know how I'm gonna try to fight this guy, to be honest. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We're so close, we're so close. This would be really bad if we died right here. Alright, I got him, I got him. One more hit and he's gone. Yes! Oh my gosh, that was so close. Wow. That was unbelievably close. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to open up any of these things because I might die. I honestly don't even want to open up any of these cabinets because I feel like one of them is a trap. God. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Alright, we need to we need to go. We need to go back downstairs. We need to go back downstairs, heal up, because this is too dangerous. That was so close. Wow. <laughs> I was so worried back there, I'm not even going to lie to you. That had me on my toes. Those elephant demons, man, they're, they're no joke. And I had no cheese, so I had no way to heal, so that was also scary. I don't even know how I, I pulled that through, to be honest. Alright, I can't remember where a spirit fountain was, but I know there had to have been one close by. I feel like I can't really walk very fast, so... Oh, there's one. Oh, thank god. Ooh. That was a relief. Because I don't know if you noticed, but it saved when we entered that place and not when I entered that room. So I was kind of worried that I would have had to scrap this whole video and restart, to be honest. Because I would have not have taken that L lightly. 
But now that we're all charged up and ready to go, I think we shouldn't have a problem. I hope. I just hope that when we fight Gal, it, he doesn't have like two demons or something next to him. I have a. What the heck is going on here? Whoa. What is this? Uh. What is happening? Okay, I don't know what the camera angle was right there. Let's try that again. There we go. That was a bit of a glitch. That's actually the first glitch I've come across in this game. Alright. Wow. Now I'm not too afraid to open these. Gem of Gentle Mind. Uh, Intimidation Gem, Gem of the Frail Scholar. This is going to be a bomb. Oh, no. Surprisingly, no bombs. Is that it? Is that all the money he had? It seemed like he would have had more. Alright, let me change up some of my gems because we've been getting some pretty good gems here lately. So let me take them all off here. And then let me go through them. Let's see. Body, mind, and spirit. Or body and spirit, negative mind. Uh, da, 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 intimidation, mind, and intuition, intimidation. This one I'm definitely going to use. Uh, let's see. I think there was one that I got that you could only use if you... Yes, it was this one. That one gives you two spirit. Not the greatest. Let's see. Uh, greatly increased health. Wait, what? Greatly increased chance of health power-ups. Uh, intimidation, body and spirit. Mind, spirit. Increased chance of health up uh, power-ups. Yeah, greatly increased chance of focus power-ups. I don't even think I've ever seen a focus power-up. Alright, that's charm, body and mind, intuition, charm. One spirit allows the wielder to detect traps. Uh, intuition. All right. Uh, mind plus two, lesser chance of focus power ups. Charm, intimidation. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this one because even when I do use my uh, staff, it's not that often. Okay, what else? Mm, the warrior gem and yeah I think I'm gonna go with that yeah that's gonna give us a lot of health so that that way we can bear any sort of damage that comes our way all right did I read this over here yes I did and did I read the scroll over here or did this just give me something I can't remember yeah it just gave me something and this one I read too, I'm assuming. Yes, I did. All right, let's go. I am wasting time because I am a little worried. I don't remember how powerful Gal was, but I guess we'll find out. Please save the game here. <laughs> yes. All right, now I'm not too worried. Even if I do die, at least we're right here. Go away, Lim. My son is dead. Leave me to my grief, or I will see that you join him. Listen to me, Gao. Your son may not be lost forever. The Lotus Assassins have power even over the dead. I know all about the necromancy of the Lotus Assassins. Take your false hope and go, or I'll... Wait. You dare disturb me in my grief? I said no interruptions. You will pay for... I know you. Yes, it is me, the one who killed Gal the Lesser. Master Lee's students. You, you are the one who killed my Gal. That is me. I didn't want to kill him, but he left me no choice. Your word 
Words mean nothing. You're a murderer, a killer. God was everything to me, and now he's gone. Okay. Damn you, school. My Gao was never good enough for Master Li. You were always his prize pupil. Now my son is gone. Enough, Gao. This troublemaker has disrupted our plans from the beginning. We had to beat them in the ruins, and someone aided the troublesome Lord Yun in the forest. It is time to end your meddling. Perhaps if I offer your head, and track down that accursed Zhu, who has been seen in the area, enough old scores will be settled to earn my life. Turn his life? What does that mean? I had no choice. Your people have taken my master. What do you know about Sh Sagacious Zoo? That is your cause. I understand. But you are a fool to fight our inevitable rule. Your master will learn this, and so shall you. Of course Enough I will. Talk. I will delay your death no longer. May your fall sate the anger of Death's Hand, will of the Emperor. Stop. All right, all right, all right. Let's calm down here, everybody. All right, this guy's actually kind of strong. How am I burning? Help me out here, guy. Get him, get him, get him, get him. He's almost dead. Honestly, he was the only one I was worried about. Your technique is flawed. Your technique is flawed. Oh, watch out, watch out. Alright, we're doing pretty good so far. Yes! That was a pretty easy fight. Alright, you have uh, found another piece of the amulet and unlocked two more gem slots. Oh, nice! Alright, so I think I'm going to put this one on there. And, let's see, ooh, six plus. I'm going to put that one too, because there's really nothing else that I... Well, I guess I could put that too. No, wait, I already have two of those. Yeah, that's good. I think that's fine. Dead already. Damn it all. Yeah, sure. I wanted nothing more than to watch this man die. Where were you at? He's dead. Why does it matter who killed him? Where have you been? <laughs> yeah. After I left you, I stumbled across some very interesting documents. Perhaps I spent too long poring over them, but I couldn't resist. Sure. Let me explain why I'm here. That should clarify things. You saw with your own eyes that these pirates were collecting slaves, right? Yes. Um, I also saw you free some of them. True enough. I have a particular hatred for slavers. Gao's slaving operation found its way to my home several years ago. I was away at the time, but my daughter was there. This guy's always in the wrong place, isn't he? Those bastards took my daughter, Pin Mei. They killed her for resisting them. She was my only child. Oh, man. I lost her mother when Pinmei was born, but my daughter was something precious in return. The slavers offered no such consolation. That's horrible. It has been three years since I lost my daughter, and I have spent that time tracking down the men who took her. My search led me here, to the lair of Gao the Greater, his men took my daughter, and I meant to even the score. On my way up here, I stumbled across records that show that this goes beyond Gao. The Lotus Assassins are his primary buyers. Huh. 
Gal the Greater's providing them with flyers as well. Is that so? There can be no doubt then. This goes beyond Gal the Greater. I have my vengeance, but how many others have suffered as I have because of the Lotus Assassins? Do you mean to go further with this? I would join you. Only a fool would oppose the Lotus Assassins, but two fools working together stand a better chance than one. Yeah, I guess. It will be good to have you along. It'll be an honor to join you. Oh, and I stumbled across a little something on my way up here. It's probably something you need. What is it? Hey! That's the dust inductor I was hiding. The dragonfly can't fly without it. It was under the floorboards in my workshop last I looked. Well, next time I hide something, I'm packing explosives around it. Yes, explosives shaped like silver bananas. Stops thieves, monkeys, and monkey thieves in one fell swoop. Yes. <laughs> monkey thieves. The worst in kind of thieves. You stand the best chance of facing down Gao's masters. We also have a far greater chance of succeeding together rather than apart. True. If you are planning to take on the servants of Death's Hand, you'll need all the help you can get. I guess. Glad to have you on board, Sky. I assure you, I will be as devoted and capable as any of your other companions. Yeah, we'll see. Ha! If I could harness all that hot air, I could make a furnace to power the whole of the Imperial City. Well, if you're done with all the talking, I have to go make the dragonfly ready for some flying. All right. Well, that was actually a fairly easy fight, to be honest. I was expecting that to be a lot worse. Uh, Zither case. I don't know what that means. The History of Flight, Volume 3. Several years after Mad Fong's first successful flight, a scholar from the south discovered the unusual device known simply as the inscrutable power source. A few years later, scholar Xu Wen came up with a design for a flyer that, was used, uh, that used this mysterious new device. Initial attempts boarded an apocalyptic... Uh, wait. When, wait, he came up with a design for a flyer that used this mysterious new device. Initial attempts bordered on apocalyptic in one case destroying half of a mountainside and the village that lay below several uh, several scholars tried to, to outlaw the use of this strange new energy source but Shu Wen continued his experiments until at last he was successful unfortunately his prototype was too successful both he and the flyer took off at a great speed toward the north and never and neither was ever seen again okay Strength of Wood. Hidden bonus. Book set complete. Huh. Let me see what that is. Uh... Wait, I don't get it. Was it a new style? Oh, no, it was over here. No, wait, where is the... The techniques, that's what it is. Oh, it's just a uh, plus two health. That's not bad. We pretty much got a lot of spirit and a lot of health. We don't have too much focus, but that's okay. Let me just check around the building here, make sure there's nothing to be seen. <laughs> Besides breaking that bonsai tree. Alright, looks like we pretty much got everything, right? Right? Oh no, yeah, that's the lever. We already pulled that, or that guy already pulled that, so... I'm assuming now we can just go inside here, get in the flyer, and then... Huh? Your task here is done, but your greater goal is far from finished. We should go back to the camp at Tien's Landing. The dragonfly can soar through the skies like a bird. Use it to journey to the Imperial City and the next stage of your quest. Okay. So we have to go all the way to Tien's Landing. We can't just leave from here. Such. 
It really gets the blood flowing. And explosions. Lots of blood flowing from those too. Right. I replace the dust inductor. The marvelous dragonfly will cross the sky at your whim. For a short way. <laughs> a short way. The heavens welcome my machines. But not without considerable cajoling. If you want to fly more than a short distance, I will need an inscrutable power source. I thought you already had that. Uh, I have an inscrutable power source. <laughs> what wonders cling to you, my friend. I don't know when I got it, but I have it. Whole region, and I destroyed one so Inquisitor Lim would not make off with my marvelous dragonfly. The other was with the Lotus Assassins, but the fools only used it for demolition. Now, here you stand with it. I will put it in the dragonfly, and it will be ready to go. Hmm, not the ideal placement. If it shook more, the heavens might think we were afraid and take pity. This is more stable, but not as fun. <laughs> okay. Okay, she's ready to go. Hop on. I know a nice safe landing place just outside Tien's landing. Very unlikely we'll crash. <laughs> Very unlikely. All right. Um. What about Rue? He's waiting to take me back. Don't worry about that. When the marvelous dragonfly takes off, the earth shakes and the sky trembles. You can't miss it. Your friend will see us take off, and he'll head back to town on his own. If he hasn't already. Okay, let's get out of here. Ha <laughs> ha! Everybody on board! The marvelous dragonfly is about to take flight! Alright, I received uh, Shrieking Fury... And I lost the inscrutable power source. I don't know where I got Shrieking Fury from. Uh, this route is plagued with enemy ships. What do you want to do? I guess attack. Nice, we got a new fancy flyer. This one should have more firepower too than the last one we had. Hopefully. Right. Time to play the bullet hell game. Uh, push mouse when you want to use your selected upgrade. Die! Alright, so far so good. Uh, killing the enemies builds up your chi. Oh, okay, now I know. <laughs> you need chi to use your upgrades. Oh, there we go. Oh, I didn't want that. I like the other one because I didn't have to click all the time. But I guess this one's better. You're just going to have to hear a constant clicking in my background. <laughs> Not my fault. I'm trying to click as fast as possible here, so it probably sounds super loud. It doesn't help that my mouse is right next to my mic, too. Yay! Look at us go. Hopefully this guy knows how to fly this thing better than me. Because we crashed our last one. Oh yeah, he definitely knows how to. Nice. 
This new flyer seems nicer than the one we took from Gal the Lesser. Although, I'm really only judging by how shiny it is. A poor guess, <laughs> I'm sure. No, no. The marvelous dragonfly is superior to the amber mosquitoes I foisted on Gal. And actually, the shinier, the better. The heavens like their glory reflected. I can imagine. A shame I can't leave it on the ground for all to see, but I'm not going through all this just to have it stripped to the frame by local brats. I'll call it back if we need it. How does it... Uh, anyway. How do you know, or how do you control it from this distance? Well, it's much like the dilemma of the centipede. If he relaxes and lets things happen, he can walk naturally all day long, his hundred legs not missing a step. But if he thinks too hard about the complexity of what he's doing, those legs might crash into the tea house and kill everyone. A valuable lesson. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, very well. Enough of this. What do we need to do now? I want that machine handy, Kong. Just land it. I will speak to you when I am ready to make use of your machine, Kong. Kang. Now we have everything we need to follow Master Lee's captors to the Imperial City. I am eager to do so after all the resistance we've encountered. I am interested in how you are, Dawnstar. Is there anything bothering you? I'm not sure I can make my concerns fully understood. Our time in the ruins, the creatures we encountered... You didn't even go there. ...much unrest. This was different from what I have seen before. There is pain here, but hatred too. The spirits around Two Rivers seemed aimless, lost. These are focused. I feel they would linger here, even without the support of whatever has increased the ghosts elsewhere. Hmm. Understandable, considering the injustice that was done. If they could not understand it in life, how would they in death? Why concern? Look at that ugly face I make. Why concern yourself? They fall like any other enemy. I suppose that is true. Left behind by their neighbors, literally to die. Could you recover from such abandonment? I'm not sure that I have. I mean, if I had suffered something like that, I'm sure it would have stayed with me. But you did. You were abandoned? Tell me about that. This is just about your personal feelings. We have more important things to do. <laughs> so mean. I should not feel bad about it. I was not left to die. I was sent to study at the school. Probably so Master Lee could deal with my sensitivities. It doesn't compare, really. These spirits, they truly suffered and have a right to turn on those who left them behind. Me? I feel like my abandonment was partially my fault. But I was three and I couldn't help being different. Three. <laughs> tried to fit in if I had been given a chance. How did she even remember being that young? Alright, I'm glad you came to the school. Don't linger on fools who may have shunned you. It doesn't matter. You are a long way from home and we are through with the ruins. Better to have anger than pointless sorrow. They might kill their enemy. You only hurt yourself. I know I shouldn't. I can see the result of such pain in the poor creatures in the ruins. I do not want to suffer such anger. Such bitterness. Yes. It may not seem like it, but I draw great strength from you and the things you say. I am grateful for that. Mm-hmm. As always, I have much to think about after speaking with you. Perhaps we can continue this another time. Oh, we definitely will. All right, I have some general questions. I will answer what I can. Oh, not for you. Um... Yeah... I think uh, goodbye for now. Be well, my friend. All right, awesome. Um, we can talk to pretty much everybody here, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now because I'm already running a little bit of low on time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Master Xiang real quick, see if he has something for us. Uh, since that one lady said she would come to town and tell everybody, so. Hopefully he has something to give us before we leave. Finally, I'll be out of Tien's Landing. I have been sick and tired of this place, to be honest. I'm sure the Imperial City is going to be, you know, worse. And in the way of being able to talk to more people, I'm sure there's way more people there. Did you see that kid just T-posing? <laughs> You're crazy. Times have never been better. You're crazy. Oh, look. 
There they are. Uh, get on with your day, youngster. Word. Hello, hello. Don't think I'm ungrateful for your earlier efforts. I do, however, have much to do. Was any man ever so eternally busy as Minister Sheng? Mm. Uh, good. Well, I have some questions for you. Closed and the town is saved, so Minister Sheng feels magnanimous. That means I will answer your questions. Uh, no, I'm good. Goodbye. Very well, run along. Now that the dam is closed again, Minister Sheng is on his way back to the Imperial City. I'm sure of it. Alright, he didn't have anything to say. She lied. It is good to see you again. We have told Minister Sheng of your bravery in freeing us from the pirates, but no words can do justice for your great and generous deeds. I never thought I'd be glad to be back here, but I am. Yes, yes, Minister Sheng is properly grateful that you were able to free the peasants. You truly are <laughs> a peasants. great hero, and so on and so forth. This guy. More importantly, you destroyed the pirates who plagued Minister Sheng's administration of this town. Here is your reward. Nice. Thank you once again. My fortune smile upon you for your good deeds. May fortune, not my fortune. <laughs> Inferior Scholar Gym in $500. I guess that's something. Let's go back to the camp. So pretty much at this point, we are done with Tien's Landing. Thank goodness. And now we can move on with our lives and continue on into the Imperial City, where I'm sure we'll find a plethora of new quests to do and also a bunch of people to talk to, which will probably take up... Two to three videos, I'm assuming, since in Tien's Landing alone, it took about two or three videos. Look at that mountain. It looks painted. But this game did come out pretty... Uh, I can't remember what year it came out, but it was quite a while ago. Alright. I think this is a good place to end it here. By the bonfire with every one of our friends surrounding us. How beautiful. All right, uh, thank you all for watching again, and uh, I guess we'll continue on in the next video on to the Imperial City to see what wonders that'll bring, and then hopefully we'll get closer and closer to solving this mystery. So, peace out for now, till the next one.